With it being right about time for kids to be going back to school, we want to make sure that both the kids and, and the parents are prepared. So go ahead and tell me just a little bit as far as what parents need to know before sending their kids off to school this year. Right. Okay. So students with um, type 1 diabetes would really benefit from having a 504 plan in place in public school systems. That's a care plan that sets up, you know, sort of the um, year as far as guidelines for teachers and nurses and the student and the parents. Um, but if you're newly diagnosed or you've never done that before, it can be really overwhelming. So mm -hmm. back to school every year, we have a meeting, we call in some school um, personnel, veteran parents, and then anyone else who has any questions can come and get their questions answered. So we give them examples of like an emergency kit you'd want to have in each classroom with mm -hmm. low snacks and a backup meter, um, a kit that the child would want to have on them at all times that has like a glucagon emergency kit for an emergency low blood sugar, um, things to check their blood sugar with. And then we go over what the actual 504 plan would entail. Um, okay. And it can be really overwhelming if you're new to type yeah. 1 diabetes and you don't yeah. even know what to ask about. So it's good. It just gives them sort of a, a we give them an outline and then they can kind of fill it in. And that's there. what your organization is kind of here for. So you can kind of guide these parents as far as what to do. Yes. Yeah. So Tyler Type 1 has been around for 10 years and we exist to create support systems around the families. We educate. We do um, school nurse training for Tyler ISD and the area nurses. Good. Um, and then we also um, meet newly diagnosed families and sort of get them into the program and we do diabetes 101 classes and that sort of thing. Okay, gotcha. And you said this is kind of like just a little drawer that they can keep like inside of the classroom. Right, because so, nowadays you really never know if you're going to be in a lockdown situation, a fire drill, and mm -hmm. that child can never be without supplies. Yes. So it's uh, safe, just a safety net to go ahead and set up where they have a backup juice box that mm -hmm. they have a low during a tornado drill or any of that. Just in every classroom um, and, and extra, extra stuff in the nurse's office, any of that kind of stuff. It's just yeah. helping the parents think through all those scenarios for the year. Gotcha, gotcha. And then this could go, this would fit so easily in a kid's backpack too. So I yes. mean, it's not even and, like... And most um, children with type 1 are used to having their emergency kit on them at mm -hmm. all times. Okay. But it's a matter of the parents knowing what the laws are and what their rights are and being able to advocate for their child and say he's allowed to have this. Just those kind of logistical things that, you know, parents don't know. They've never had to deal with it before. Gotcha. And you said you are a parent of four kiddos with, with type 1? Yes. My husband and I have six children and four of them have type 1 diabetes. Okay, gotcha. So you're very familiar with how this works and just the importance of being prepared. Could you, I mean, you out of everyone can talk on this better. So why is it so important to just be prepared? Uh, because with type 1 diabetes, it is um, very different from what most people know type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetic is um, insulin dependent for life. Mm -hmm. So they basically live their lives on life support. Insulin is very potent and can be very dangerous and activity levels and stress and food, all those things affect your blood sugar so they can fluctuate rapidly and wildly throughout the day and you just always have to have your backup supplies on you because you, you can't anticipate, anticipate those things coming mm -hmm. and high stress situations like testing or like a lockdown situation, any of those are going to cause fluctuations in blood sugar so you need right, to make sure. Right, that affects sure. them. Yeah, because a, a low blood sugar can be fatal and a high mm -hmm. blood sugar can land you in the hospital so it's just, right. um, it's really important to and have And that's why things. you're here to let us know how we can prevent those kind of tragic situations situations. Yes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put your group's contact information on our Fantastic. website. So for any parents out there who think that y'all can benefit from this information, I mean really this is good stuff to know right before school starts. So Sarah, thank you so much for coming on this morning and letting us know about this information. Again, contact them on our website, EastTexasMatters.com.